Welcome back to the show. Kyle is seriously trying to get on that festival next weekend. Kyle Hopstetter. Every listen. day is a winding road full of balls. A couple of weeks ago, one of the biggest bombshells hit gamers everywhere. They destroyed Xboxes. Duke Nukem Forever, a game that was being made 13 years ago, now has a release date. One of our newest crew members, Eric Rogers. No. He has his hand up right there. Please no. He checks to see if this is really something that just the true nerds like. I need to check if this is really going to be on the show. Or that the whole nation is going to go crazy about. Take a look. Back in the year 1996, a little game came out called Duke Nukem 3D. No, it wasn't in 3D like your precious little avatar. The movie's so good. But you know what it did have? It had awesome. It had kicking ass and chewing bubble gum like this. But he's all out of gum. The important thing to know is that two years later, a little sequel was announced called Duke Nukem Forever. I pre-ordered it when I was six. It's still not out yet, but the release date has been announced for next year. So the only real question to ask, is anyone else really excited for this game? I know I am. So what's your opinion on the oil spill? I think it's horrible that so many animals and like natural habitat got affected by it. And it took so long for them to actually get it cleaned up for the most part. I agree. And when I think of animals, I think of baby seals. And when I think of baby seals, I think of Duke Nukem shooting the baby seals. And Duke Nukem Forever is coming out next year. Yes, it didn't happen. I don't care. Your thoughts? Uh, I don't know what Duke Nukem is. Well, it's a famous video game that came out like 14 years ago. I'm not into video games. What? No. Video games are stupid. Okay, I'm going to name some names here because I'm noticing a trend with people. And I want to see how many you recognize, okay? Tim Schafer, Suda51, Duke Nukem, Gandhi. Who have you heard of? Gandhi. Now, why Gandhi? He was the pacifist, wasn't he? No, I'm pretty sure that was Vin Diesel. Now for the real shit. Duke Nukem Forever. The date has been announced. Are you not incredibly excited for it? The what? Duke Nukem Forever. What is that? Is it, it, <laughs> like the end of the world or what? It's like the video game that's taken like 13 years to develop. Are you not excited? Sure, when I see it, what's it about? <laughs> he doesn't know what I'm talking about. How do you not like Duke Nukem? I don't like you, get over it. Why don't you like me? You're annoying, I'm trying to get this done. You yeah, but... Drafting. Homework doesn't matter. You yes, don't... it does. School is stupid. No, it's not. School will help you for the rest of your life. It's not helping you for my interview here. So what are you doing tomorrow night? Um, I don't know why you need to know that. So we need to play some Duke Nukem together. I'm okay. I'm sorry. Come on. Well, I wanted to know, what, what's your religion, first off? Um, I'm kind of non-religious Christian. So you're a non-religious Christian. Sure. So you believe sort of in Jesus. Sure. Okay. Well, first there was Jesus. Now comes Duke Nukem. What are you more excited about? Duke Nukem. Yes. Are you not the most excited for Duke Nukem Forever? 13 years, man. Dude, they had, I remember the original one. They had like naked chicks in the game. And I'll guess what's coming back? Naked chicks. You know what happens when you press left on the D-pad? Whatever. You drink a beer. Hell yeah. Are you ready to kick ass and chew bubble gum? <laughs> sure. Are you all out of gum? Yeah. Well, I have some right here. Here you go. What kind is it? I don't know. Now, it's not, not amazing gum. This is pretty good gum. Yeah, I bought it just seconds ago. So what have we learned here today? I've certainly learned two things. Number one, Huntington, West Virginia is nothing like the internet. Here, nobody understands me, except for one glorious man who understood my way of life. I have learned that at least deep down in my heart, 
that somebody here has probably played Monkey Island. I just need to find him. Or her. Especially her. If it's her, call me. What the f*** was he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? that was, you're upset about that. Why are you oh, so upset? Okay, one, nerd. Two, you press left on the D-pad, it reloads the rocket launcher. Don't shake your head at me, Eric. <laughs> Eric's running camera you right lying now. You lying son of a bitch. Okay, that is another... wrong. We should do a cuss counter for Kyle. Every time he cusses, it should pop up in the bottom of the screen. You would have no counts. You've already done it four twice tonight, haven't Bitches, you? Bitches, female dog. That's that not a curse word. No <laughs> My next guest is here to perform one of his original songs. You can hear more of his music at myspace.com slash Starline Drive from Lynchburg, Virginia. Here's Drew Blake. <laughs> Water was still as the people just passed us by The look in your eyes said Think what you will And I thought it over As you moved closer With a friend I hardly knew On the 4th of July Now your eyes shine with the fire of the sky And I could just stand here for hours But the chill of the wind and the lights in the sky Make it impossible On the 4th of July Oh dark water, hazy sky Can't you tell me why Engines buzzing and people talking I could almost cry Should be the time of our lives On the 4th of July Was it the 4th of July? 